Oh, hello again. Um, this time um, we're going to get on with uh, trying to repair. Uh, we started a couple of weeks ago on the um, War of the Worlds diorama where the lights didn't work. Because the, the new ones arrived, I have tested them. <laughs> Thankfully they were worse, so I'm going to put them all back in now. So uh, it's just about taking it all apart again and, and soldering and joining and rerunning all the wires and it's all going to be great. So uh, come with me and we'll get on with that. Well, here we are again. Um, this is my first voiceover. Uh, explanation will be at the end so meanwhile just having a look around where we left it on the uh, last episode so just gonna have a look at some uh, new accessories if you remember the lights we tried last time didn't work uh, so I took them all out these ones have arrived and the same ones same design and uh, I have tested those out and they will work nicely so uh, here we are, just having a look at the bits I'm going to need. Obviously the lights, the wires, um, a finger in the corner there. <laughs> um, this is on, underneath the pier and uh, obviously the switch that we fitted last time. I'll put this to one side because I will need to uh, be drilling holes in it at the back somewhere around here as I'm showing you now. Um, the thing I've got to do is try and support it because obviously these um, the, there's bits sticking down so just raising it up a bit with that battery some of these things have come loose I'll fix those as we go along uh, I, my concern is um, having the wires reach um, because so, some of these are going to need um, bearing back obviously um, so I can pre-solder them um, just watch your fingers when you do this I don't have one of those fancy wire strippers and if I do um, I actually do not know where it is and I really don't want to dismantle the house trying to find it so just shaving off the end there about um, one centimeter or so <clears throat> so now what the intention is to solder them all up and then solder them all together put some heat shrink over them and uh, make them nice and safe because all the wiring will be tucked underneath the, the seascape part of the pier. So just going to retest them with a 9 volt battery because they are 12 volt batteries and uh, 12 volt batteries? 12 volt lights, <laughs> sorry, uh, but they will happily run on a, a 9 volt system. So just check, there you go, lovely. There's no in my luck. I'd take them if I and I'll fit them. <laughs> That's good. And uh, they won't work. So just making sure. So at the moment, just moving things out of the way. Just going to feed them through the holes where the, the others came from. So that uh, make sure they all still fit quite nicely. Uh, that some of them fit quite snug. Some of them a little bit loose. I'll have to add a little bit of glue. Uh, just to make sure all the wiring... Uh, reaches the uh, connection block underneath. So there we go, just going to fit another one through. I have no intention of boring you and watching you let me um, run every single one through because obviously the process is the same, there's nothing exciting happening there. So I'm just going to straighten them all up, make sure they're all facing the correct direction. So there we are, that's them all fitted. So we've now got five lights in there. And I'm gonna put one in there, maybe. Just to light it up inside and make it look like it was actually occupied. So that's the battery intent to use to run all of these lights. They'll all run off that quite happily. And the last ones did, yes. So now we can actually get, get on with the wiring. So just checking the reach of the wires to the existing block connector. B2 
because uh, these, some of these wires are slightly longer than the ones we took out and some are a little bit shorter so either move them all around or extend them with a bit of speaker cable so they can reach that block there. Get the old soldered iron going. So the smoke coming off there is uh, actually flux. So those who don't um, do a lot of uh, soldering, if you flux the wire first you can tin it. So when you put some solder on the end, it looks like it's closer to my fingers than it actually is. And that will just flow quite nicely and tin it rather than having a big lump of solder on the end. Make sure you are wearing a, a mask or ventilator so you're not breathing in that nasty smoke. This is the only thing I'm using this uh, helping hands it's called. Again doing the same thing just tinning some of the wires so a nice easy and positive connection once they're all together. A lot of wires to do, it's a bit tedious but it needs doing. You don't want any wires touching underneath uh, the diorama once you put it all back together. You won't see that until you switch on and you get a, a spark and smoke coming from underneath. <laughs> Not a good idea. So there's only a couple of them needed uh, a little extension adding so rather than unglue them and move all the lights again just extend the wires underneath and I will put some heat shrink on them as you will see. You seem to get in your own way when you're on the opposite side of the working surface and the camera's on the other side so I'm trying my very best not to get in the way and it's very difficult from this angle. That smoke looks worse than it really was to be honest. I'm going to be blowing it away. So keep going back just to make sure there's enough on there and then I'll snip it back to a very small um, connection. And this is what the underneath wiring mess will be. It did confuse me somewhat at, at, at points I have to say. It doesn't look like I'm doing anything, you're keep dropping things on the floor. As you do, when you try to film something and not drop things on the floor, you drop things on the floor. So, <laughs> off camera there, I'm just trying to uh, ensure that the, the length of these wires are going to be correct from where I want to put them and put the solder in the right place. And I can't quite get the helping hands in there, so I'm just trying to do it literally by hand. Uh, again, being in my own way, being in the camera's way, it's not really, really helping me at all. But I finally got it all done, and look at that. All the lights work. Fabulous. Little 9 volt battery. Some of the lights obviously need uh, straightening up a little bit. Um, so the ones that are wonky, um, I haven't glued in place yet in case I needed to remove them. Or they failed on me for any reason. So and this is just me fitting the extra light um, underneath where the cabin uh, is going to sit. As you can see, a uh, little a single um, LED bulb sitting there. That's that's more than sufficient. There you go. Quick test to make sure it works before I glue the cabin on top of it and I can't get to it. And then. 
and uh, put everything back in place and make sure it still looks right. And it does, it still looks nice and tidy. Just a few wires to hide, as you can see underneath this, the, the jut out pier there. And um, just need to attach them all to the, uh, the switch we fitted before. So just locking at the wiring that's coming out the, the foot from the war machine. So I fed it through the hole just there at the side of the foot and I'll join those wires together from the cabin and the, uh, the war machine itself. And then obviously off to the, the 9 volt power supply and uh, switch. So that's the wire fed down at the side of the foot there. So obviously looking from the front you wouldn't even see that and looking from the rear you, it doesn't look too bad either just one connection left to connect because um, I, I sorted it out there on the previous video again a little side view so I'm now feeling a lot better the way it's starting to look and it's looking the way uh, I hoped it would so again, looking nice and neat. You can't tell we've done anything to it at all um, from how it was when we first pulled it out, <coughs> to be honest. But uh, still looking nice. Uh, war machine back in place. Lovely. Standing there quite proud. It's finally getting there. You see me going, yes. And there we go. Look at that. All wired up nicely. The light in the cabin's working lovely. The, the lights in the war machine, much, much brighter. So the power is shared more evenly now. Fantastic. That is going to look great at night, uh, I think. Um, that's going to light up looking really nice. I'm really looking forward to seeing that uh, later on in the day. Just a few more shots there. I've put the, the fallen one down and I've replaced the cabin that was there with another light. Uh, if you remember from the first video, there was a little cabin there. It didn't seem to serve any purpose. So uh, I just removed it and put another light on there and I think again, in my opinion, that looks better than it did before because people would just come on through here, um, probably onto the pier itself, uh, next to those bike parks and the cabin. It looks like somebody's already there. So there we go, again just a couple of bits left to do, I do need to put the ladders back in place um, that lead down to the sea, around about there I think it'll look better and of course I need to fit the, uh, I'm going to call them eyes, into the front of the, wire, the uh, machine that's gone down and uh, I think that's really, that's really made me, me happy that, thanks for doing. Uh, like I said, it was challenging, but there we are, finally got there. Well, thanks for sticking with me on that one. What a day! Goodness me, the wiring got me really confused. And uh, also, nothing was going right, nothing was going together. And um, I had, to, um, unfortunately, I had to do that voiceover because as I was filming, as I normally do, I was talking my way through what I was doing. In my mind, not even realising in the background, the radio was on. So I couldn't, I couldn't have the sound on because YouTube picked that up and they tell me off, basically. So I've had to draw the voice. So I'm sorry about that. I hope you didn't spoil it too much for you. And it was a bit hit and miss, piddly piddly. But um, we got some done and that's the main thing. The lights are now working and I have fitted the light in the little shed thing uh, in the corner there. We've wired up the... Uh, the uh, Martian uh, lights that look so much brighter now. It's all back to the proper switch. If proper has ever been a word. Thanks for putting up with it. Thanks for watching. You, you still buy me a coffee. I could do with a coffee. <laughs> so, thanks for that. You didn't have to buy me anything. To, uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think uh, of the diorama, um, my antics, my mess, or whatever you want. Meanwhile, we're getting near. We're nearly close, aren't we, to this? vaccination thingy so stay safe out there we're not out of the woods yet but we're close see you next time